Hi everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome back to another comic book review. And today we're going to take a look at Batman Beyond number 45, written by Dan Jurgens with artwork by Paul Pelletier. And uh, I've said this countless times, this is my favorite ongoing comic book from DC Comics. This is better than the main Batman series, better than Detective Comics, better than anything out there in my opinion. And it's Batman Beyond, the futuristic Batman Terry McGinnis with an icy alliance with Damian Wayne. So in the last few issues uh, in Neo-Gotham, you've seen this new villain, Zero, who has taken control of the League of Assassins after Ra's al Ghul's death and actually had a duel with Damian Wayne in which he, he won the right to be the ruler and he wants to initiate this new Ice Age in order to kill all the people but his loyal followers and bring about a new Ice Age and uh, only the, the purest will survive, I guess, and they'll start over. So this is a flashback. This is the Eradication Agenda Part 3. And here's some other credits. you got Norm Ratman as the inker and Chris Sotomayor as the colorist. And uh, this is many years ago. Uh, with Well, actually, no, this is somewhat recent. This is uh, right before Ra's al Ghul died. With Damian Wayne talking to Ra's al Ghul and just look at how old and decrepit he is. And he talks about how he's used the Lazarus Pit so many times... That he can't use it anymore. And when he dies this time, he's, he's dead for real. And you see, this is that guy, Zero, who's a, a loyal follower. who's always fighting Damian Wayne. Even though he looks older than Damian Wayne because of the gray hair. But he's always been fighting with Damian Wayne saying, well, you know, Damian's got some good in him because his father is Bruce Wayne. And uh, he's, he's talking about how he wants to bring about this eradication agenda, pretty much. Bring about the new Ice Age. And uh, he, he wants all the followers, all the... Assassins here who are just laughing away to uh, get in spaceships, go into outer space, cause the Ice Age, and then come back. And, well, I guess bring Lazarus Pits in the, in the spaceships with them so they can continue to live on. Because the Ice Age is going to take thousands of years. So, and then it, it brings reference to a very early issue in uh, Batman Beyond number 11. Which what happened back then was uh, Terry and Damien were fighting each other uh, because... Uh, Damien was, was going to go through with this plan. This is right after Ra's al Ghul died, and they were going to go through this plan. And he was in Gotham for some reason. I forget why. But uh, Damien, or excuse me, Terry, went down to wherever they are in the Arctic here with Bruce Wayne. And they had a great duel here. And it wasn't until Bruce Wayne, Damien's father, talked some sense into him that he, he said, we can't go through this eradication agenda. And uh, he, he left them in peace, and they, and they left uh, on good terms. And Zero was just pissed. He said, you, you, you think the work must end? What did Wayne make, make you do? And uh, he saw the light, Damien. So what happened was, uh, this is his bodyguard here, and, and the whole all the assassins listening to Zero now kill the bodyguard, and they march on in there. And I mean, Damien's doing the best he can, but I mean, look, there's like five guys versus one, one Damien Wayne. And his dragon, Goliath, comes and rescues him. And that's where you saw uh, in the last issue when... Uh, Terry was, was, you know, with Goliath, bringing Damien back to, to safety. So he just caught him up to speed. And now you have the Bat Suite, because the Bat Cave was destroyed by Blight in issue 42. Um, they had a big battle there at the end of that arc. And they have the Bat Suite. And this giant ship shows up from the League of Assassins. And uh, they can't quite see the Bat Suite, but they can, you know, make out the heat signatures. And they start firing away. And just really terrific artwork of, of the new Batman right there. Firing away. And I guess all sorts of great action. You got Goliath in there fighting away, fighting those assassins. Damien's fighting away. So much cool stuff. And then Batwoman shows up. Elena Grayson. Who for a short while, <clears throat> I think on issue 36, uh, Terry McGinnis lost his identity to Falseface. And was wandering around aimlessly. And that was when Blight had come back in issue 37. And Elena Grayson had been toying with the idea of wanting to fight for some time. And then she just put on the suit. And uh, much to her father's dismay. And now she's here fighting crime once and for all. And, and when she first showed up, she had a, a similar red suit. And now you see she's got this blue suit on to mirror her father. So this, is gonna be, this might actually be worth something in, in the near future. If uh, they keep going with this and they continue the, the cartoon at some point with, with that suit right there. Very interesting. So even Dick shows up and they're joking saying, oh, Mayor Grayson, this is absolutely shway. 
And, uh, you know, he's there. <laughs> he's the mayor of Bloodhaven in this timeline. And they're just taking all sorts of firepower, uh, the, the ship going on. So, so Bruce Wayne is controlling the satellite from orbit. And he sends the satellite crashing down into their ship so that uh, they can get rid of the assassins. I mean, just look at that. The freaking satellite oh, it's fired a laser. I thought he was crashing the satellite, but he, he fired a laser of the satellite into the ship and just brought it down. And you got a Goliath there, Elena and, and Terry, and then uh, Matt, who what was the, the uh, Robin Beyond in, in a few issues back as well. You wonder if he'll show up again in his suit. Yeah, look at the face of Dick Grayson there. and Wow, really good drawing right there. Absolutely terrific. So they crashed down there, and then what they see, they defeated that, that ship, right? But there's all those spaceships making their way up and down outer space. They're abandoning Earth. So uh, they know that the Ice Age is coming. Terry says, that can only mean, and Damien Zero is proceeding with his plan. A coming Ice Age has been triggered. From all the plans I saw, it cannot be stopped. Next, the avalanche of death, and you get this great shot of the, the futuristic heroes, Damien, Terry, Dick, and Elena. And, oh, man, I love this Batman Beyond. See, I loved watching the, the cartoon as a kid, coming home from school after, after school. I think it was on Kids WB and Toonami, and I used to watch it on Toonami, and then it would be on Saturdays, Saturday morning cartoons on the Kids WB. And I loved the cartoon, watched it so many times. I used to have the VHSs, and now I have the Blu-ray. And this comic book, read, starting from issue one, reading all the way to 45, this has been such a, a great comic book. So many highs, absolutely terrific. So much nostalgia, I love it. I can't say if, if, if you're not like a huge fan of the, of the cartoon like I am, I don't know if you're going to get that same uh, satisfaction as I'm getting. But if you are a fan of the cartoon and you get nostalgia from this series, I mean, this comic book is absolutely terrific. I, I can't praise it enough. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And stay tuned for more new comic book reviews coming soon. Everybody have a great day.